Hello, my name is Desiree Noriega and I'm interviewing the artist of this beautiful mural and his name is Roberto de Loyo. Hi. Hey Roberto, nice Hi, to meet you. Nice to meet you. So what inspired you to paint or draw this creative, beautiful mural? Well, um, initially when the city, uh, when the Parks and Recreation Department of Santa Ana contacted me, they wanted a bright mural um, that will liven up this underpass because it's kind of ominous, it's kind of dark and um, they have a lot of field trips that come through that visit actually the Discovery Center which is on the other side of this underpass. Um, what really inspired me is the surroundings and uh, the history of, of Santa Ana. So as you can see in the background, um, these are actually California wild roses um, which are a continuation of the main mural which is in the center of the underpass. And being that these plants and flowers are native to this area, I thought it was only right to begin on the left side of the mural with these native flowers. So that's why you see these native uh, California wild roses here on this side. It's really yeah. nice. And why did you decide to paint through the middle? So, so this space is really a transitional space because on this side is the park. Mm -hmm. And as we go under the underpass, there's the Discovery Center. Mm -hmm. And as you proceed, down towards the Discovery Center, you'll find more geometric lines and shapes that reference the Discovery Center. So it's a transition space, really. Wow, it's really amazing. Thank you. How long have you been um, an artist for, working as an artist? Well, I, I would say as a professional artist, uh, I would say, you know, it's hard to gauge, only because I've been doing it since I was very young. Yeah. Um, I always knew that I wanted to be an artist. Uh, I've been painting murals probably for the last, uh, I would say, 10 years. And uh, it's really my passion. It's really my passion working with community members, um, giving them the opportunity to express themselves via this visual art form. It's it found to be a very beautiful place given its natural resources. And I think the advice that I could take is just kind of stop and investigate what your community has to offer. And especially in a place that's so beautiful like Santa Ana and in a place where there's the actual wash channel and, and river that flows through this park. Thank you, Roberto. It's been a pleasure interviewing today. Thank you very and much, Jessica. I wish you best of luck with all of your future projects, and thank you for taking time out of your busy life schedule oh, to no help us out and beautify our community. No thank problem. You so thank you. Appreciate yeah, it. Thank you.